let's see if together we can figure out how to make these adorable little cascading ruffle skirts. Now someone posted this on their blog and I'm guessing, you know, she has one girl and this is the size that her girl is. So the pattern only comes in a size five, six. You can easily modify it by making, you know, maybe even just making this section longer because really between a five-year-old and a seven-year-old height is probably the biggest difference that you're gonna find. And we don't want them too short. They won't be very cute. So, um, but if you're gonna lengthen this section, you're gonna have to be a little bit trickier, do a little more math and um, some drawing, but we can always explore that later. So for now, what we're gonna do is look at what supplies we need to complete this project. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what's going on with mine. I have underneath it, I've used the bottom section of a t-shirt. You can see the original hem is here. You can see I had to change the width because this was, I think a men's large and uh, you know, so it was too wide, but I want to show you something. Look at all that gorgeous tie dye in there. It's not even noticeable. So I feel bad. I wasted a gorgeous t-shirt on something that totally didn't matter. So when um, we're doing them now for We So Love, we're actually just using white, gray, black. Um, it's some of the colors that we don't utilize as much as we receive them. We get a lot of donations in those colors. And anyway, so we're using those um, for the purposes of today's demo because I didn't, believe it or not, I didn't happen to have one of those on hand. I'm using the bottom of a woman's polo. Oh, look at that string. So I'll show you what happened. Um, there was a part of the hem on that one that wasn't caught. And so I just took my sewing machine and ran a straight stitch across there. Um, I'll, of course, clean that string up. But to be honest, you know, if this was the actual shirt and they were going to wear it that way, I would never patch it like that. For one, I would have probably gotten a, a thread that matched. Again, let's look at the original, the, the sample skirt. You cannot see the hem. So don't overthink it. it if your hem on the shirt, common thing you're gonna find, that the hem isn't nice and even, um, crazy enough, a lot of bought in t-shirts, the hem can go looping down like that and just do all sorts of crazy things. If it's too crazy, hopefully you can cut that section off when you make it um, the right width, you know, like here. Uh, but a little bit of variation along that hem or some crazy anomalies, some stains. Uh, look, this one had a grease stain. This came from a music repair shop, so grease is gonna be part of it. It's not gonna matter. It is underneath all those ruffles, totally irrelevant. So. One of the things you'll need then for the size five, six is a rectangle uh, or a bottom portion of a t-shirt and the length here for the five, six is nine and a half inches hemmed. All right. Um, and then the width, and I'll go like this, all the way around the circle is going to be 40 inches. So 20 inches when it's laying flat from left to right, that's 20 inches there. But of course, you know, this is a circle. <laughs> so I have a circle of fabric that if you laid it flat all the way out without one side seam sewn, and I'll admit it's easier to do this project if that second side seam isn't sewn. But if it is, or if your t-shirt came in the round, it didn't have a seam, don't worry about it. You know, we can work our way through it, it's fine. Um, but if I had one big rectangle, it would be nine and a half inches by 40, all right? And obviously then it would end up a little smaller because of the seam allowance when you sew it together. Don't sweat the small stuff. This is knit, it's very forgivable. Um, and in fact, <laughs> when we were doing this yesterday with uh, our second group of sewing um, volunteers, when we did our lines, we had to get a little bit fudgy on them because the shirt wasn't the same up at the top as it was at the bottom. So that you're gonna find that on a women's shirt, you know, they they um, make them a little more fitted through the waist. So it may be a little smaller up there. That doesn't disclude it from being useful. That just means you are gonna to need to um, just 
move your lines and keep them somewhat even. These are ruffles. Any uh, on, on this skirt here, <laughs> if you examine it closely, you'll see that when I stitched them down, sometimes the, the, the curving went like that, you know, but you cannot tell. There's no way to know that that's what's going on. So this is a great project. You don't have to get too crazy worried about some of the things. But as we go along, I am going to tell you about a few things that are going to totally change whether your ruffles cascade or just want to lay flat. And flat isn't nearly as cute as cascading. So we'll talk about that. All right. So I want you to gather up your nine and a half by 40, or if it's folded in half, nine and a half by 20 rectangle. We're going to mark the... Um, lines where we're going to sew and um, before we while you're gathering that up I'm going to talk a little bit more about the rest of the supplies you need in the links below you'll find the link to the PDF that has the pattern for your ruffle and so it's really not hard to figure out what's going on right this is actually uh, it's curling on me but it is pretty much a full circle and then they've just removed the center so if you need a bigger one, get a bigger dinner plate, draw the circle, cut a hole and, or cut into the middle and cut that center out. That's that's how hard this is. So we'll for this project, we're going to use the PDF link below. And I I believe she says um, 12 ruffles or 14 something. Um, I wanted it more roughly and also she was using a much lighter, fabric than t-shirt and so um, I'm going to recommend that you have 18 to 20 and I think I'm using 20 here's my stack and I've got uh, because I'm not that mm, <laughs> creative I'm just sticking to the rainbow it's easy for me to do now um, some of our gals found it easiest to go ahead and get these in order of the way they'll be stitched on so that they could just grab from the top of their stack. However it works for you, you do you. All right. And um, so you do need a stack of those. Now, if you decide not to do 20, then your increments being marked on our the, the skirt bottom will be different than mine. That's okay. Be creative, do your thing, but do your math so that you don't end up with a hole someplace with no ruffle or a bunch of ruffles piled on top of each other. You don't want that. All right. So you got your pack of those and you're going to need the top band. Now I'm using up bits and pieces. So, you know, I've got two, which means I'll have to seam them together and whatever, which is not a big deal, but that that's this section. Okay. So that is actually separate. You'll see my, see my seam in there where it got attached. So you do need that. And then you're going to need a piece of elastic. I'm going to try um, a new idea. I left the hem on there and I'm going to use, I'm going to try two things. One will be to go ahead and just zigzag the elastic on this side. It's the inside. Little girls aren't that fussy. So I'm going to give that a try. And then I'm going to try um, one where I'm lacing the elastic through here. My concern with that idea is if you see this, it's rather narrow. I'm going to... Um, my ruler I just dropped on the floor. All right, um, so let's see. I have to look at it too. Yeah, the largest piece of elastic I'm gonna be able to use would be a quarter inch. I'm not sure a quarter inch is gonna be strong enough to hold the skirt on. Um, we could do a real cute idea um, of taking, you know, cutting t-shirt and um, stretching it, which makes it into a cord. And so it could be a drawstring waist, which for the mission field might be beneficial because then it will fit a multitude of sizes. Um, that's always beneficial. Even, even in the home, you know, it can pass on from one sister to the other or at an orphanage. You can put it in the big pile and a variety of girls can fight over that every morning. <laughs> so, you know, we're just always all about experimenting and trying different things. And sometimes by trying, even 
if it takes you four different attempts, you come up with uh, an idea that you wouldn't have had otherwise. So I think, you know, if you've got a great idea over on your end of this video, go for it. Try it. Share. Tell us about what you um, discovered and maybe we'll implement it over here. All right. So here, what we're going to do now, I'm going to, I think, turn. Well, I can't. I don't know how to turn the video. We'll see. Maybe what I'll do is stop the video and start another one and link them together. 